I'm a Druid, but I came from the usual Roman Catholic background in Ireland, rural Ireland. Druidry is a nature-based spiritual path. We look to the, the landscape and the seasons as a metaphor for our lives. So when our inner world is in harmony with the outer world, we're in sync. You could ask 10 Druids what Druidry is, you'd get 11 different answers. We don't have any dogma, we don't have a big book. We've no sins, we've no commandments. You take responsibility for your own behavior. In our order, you can be a Druid and a Christian, a Muslim, a Buddhist, it doesn't matter. We don't fight over that. So because it's non-dogmatic, people have found a home. And then of course, with the climate change and anxiety that that has brought up, people are finding a place in there. We call it Bards, Ovates and Druids. So the Bardic Strand is that um, the storytellers, the history keepers, the, the poets, those who look for imas or that inspiration from the landscape through their connection with the elements. The next strand, the ovate, is the shamanic, the healing, the herbal, the diviners, the seers. And then the third grade is the philosophical one, the druid grade. The teacher, the, the ritual holder, the ethicist, taking responsibility for our actions, operating from our own internal moral compass rather than relying on commandments or a big book someplace else and being of service. Service is really, really important as a Druid, however that is. Exploring and developing your own creativity. Somebody who bakes bread, someone who keeps a nice house, looks in their garden, a writer, an artist, it doesn't matter. The love of nature, deepening that love of nature, and then uh, the pursuit of wisdom. I heard about Druids from the nuns in school, in primary school. So I was filled with all the myths and legends, and I had just a yearning for those myths, and I'm a storyteller, and I'm really, really interested in our own myths, and retelling them, well, I suppose with a more modern flair and maybe a feminine voice as well. Just scratch below the surface, it's here. And I suppose when you think of the traditional hold that the, you know, traditionally the Catholic Church had such a strong hold, and that's gone. People still want some kind of spirituality. I had rejected ritual, you couldn't mention God or prayer. And Druidry brought all that back because I am spiritual, but I had one notion of what spirituality was. And once I could find my own and its own expression, and so much of it comes from the landscape, I think that's growing. It's meeting a need for people.